Good morning everybody. So welcome to week nine day six. Today is a bit of a long slow run. I've already gone out and done Taralgan Park run this morning. I ran it way too fast for what I wanted to do. Uh, I've come out to Walhalla today. Um, not really aiming for any time. I just need to be back by whatever to go to work tonight by five o'clock. So I can walk the whole thing if I wanted, or I can do run the whole thing, or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to get going and yeah, see you throughout the trails. So I just remember today's uh, training, it's to mimic, or get as close to your uh, race day course as possible. So I guess doing a loop kind of counts, trail counts, but there's just not as many hills. I've just walked one hill, uh, and I know I've got another one later as I turn around. Plus this bit here is a slight incline, so it's going to be as hard as my loops at Yang's. Uh, but it'll be something. So I think I'm gonna be going for time more than, like time on feet, more than anything else. I've got heaps of time to get this done. So I should still be done in under two and a half or three hours. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. I keep finding these cool patches. It's like from uh, Mount Cannibal. You just get to this one spot and the temperature is so much cooler than other parts that you've been in. I hope it's like this on my way back through this section. It just feels really comfortable at the moment. Not really going that fast. Um, yeah, 640s at the moment for this K. The rest have been like 630. So I'll get to the bridge in a little bit and can go from there because that's where the, you get a downhill from there and then you get a nice steep up which is good right, see you soon I'll see you at the bridge mm. didn't really have anything after the park run to kind of refuel for this one um, so right now I'm trying almond butter. Not too bad. Shitloads better than peanut butter. Um, nearly at the bridge now. I should have shown you the hill that I'm going to be coming back up. So, you kind of do, you start here, you run around and up and you just go, you get to this part that I'm at and it's kind of a loop and you come up the hill and then you go and follow the same path back. Beautiful day, it's a bit warm. Um, the bridge is like over that way somewhere. What's the time? So it's 10 past 11 now. Uh, still got plenty of time. I don't mind walking. Um, might go to the pub and have a beer after this. Go home, have a nap, wake up, have some food, 
and go to work. There's no rush, not as much as I thought anyway. Okay, maybe there's a little rush because it's going to take me a little bit to get back home. Mm. Oh well. Oh, it's good. See you soon. Trying to disconnect a little bit, doesn't seem to be working, mind is all over the place at the moment. Sitting there thinking about how I'm going to pace myself for the 100. I'm guessing I'm not going to know how I'm going to pace until I start doing those long runs where it's going to be like 40k's one day and then 20 the next. Because I do think once it gets to those, I'm going to be walking the 20s. Because um, there's no way I'm going to be able to run the whole 100Ks. I know that already. I haven't even ran a marathon yet, non-stop. I've come close, but still not quite there. Maybe it'll happen through training. Ideally, I shouldn't have run this morning, but it kind of got the best of me. Also, I shouldn't be wearing this jumper. I've got a shirt on underneath. It's my two bays one, just to prevent chafing as much as possible. I just hit 10Ks now. Uh, so I've got 11 to go. Um, I have been th thinking that I actually wouldn't mind walking the first two laps or at least the first one and see how it is and see how much run I can have in me in the last one. I know I'm going to be well over 10 hours that's for sure, probably even 15 hours but I have to be realistic and think that anything can happen throughout 100 k's it's a long time it's a long distance uh, so if i end up walking the whole thing it will be like i don't think i will there'll be at least 100 meters before the finish line where i will run <laughs> or sprint and I just need to keep that in mind. Yeah. Because I think a 30, uh, 30 hours is the cutoff for 100 miles. So I think as long as people are still going for that, I don't see why there should be a cutoff for the 100, 100k for a shorter distance. I'll double check it when I get home. I did have a look and it's like not very clear for times but there's a checkpoint every 10 k's so even if I do like if I run well you have to climb Flinders Peak so climb Flinders Peak and then you'll have like 7 k's of down, I think, and then you do basically 10 of up, <laughs> yeah, or well, more than that actually. That water sounds so good. turned into tough matter. So, yeah, I don't really care how long I'm out here for when 
I've got a bit of time. Just as long as I'm back in time for work. Runs are harder when you're stuck in your head. How nice is that water? I don't think you can see it yet. The bridge should be coming up soon. Anyway, uh, see you at the bridge. <sighs> got a bit of bad news next weekend is going to be just as bad as last year from what I hear it's going to be another hot run for the 42 I'm not sure what I'm going to do <sighs> struggling a little bit in today's heat but then again, I was just thinking where I'll be uh, next Sunday at about this time. So 11.53, I will have completed the chalet. I will be going, I will have completed the downhill descent for What do you call it? Buffalo? The mountain? I'll be done from Europan Creek and I think I'll be going through the Buckland Valley. That's the main part I want to concentrate on this year. I want to have enough in me to actually run that whole freaking bit. I don't care how slow the run is, I do not want to walk it. If I can improve the climb on Keating and Buckland Valley, then I think I'll be much better off than previous years. Not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm skipping one of my training sessions this week. It's a hill repeat. I don't see the point in doing it a few days before Buffalo. I shouldn't really be doing this before Buffalo, but I'm sticking to my program as best I can. There's just two changes I'm making next week. I will be doing, I'm not doing Wednesday's run. It'll be a rest day and it wants two 10 to 12 mile runs over the weekend so i'm cancelling one of them to walk the buffalo i mean the bright park run in the morning and yeah i'll keep moving a little bit i don't want to completely stop on Saturday. Get off my foot. Bloody stick. Um, yeah. Forgot what I was saying. Yeah, just don't know what I'm going to do. Take it as it comes, I guess. I might even take this jumper off and put it in my backpack somewhere. 
and um, go from there. Alright, I'll do that at the bottom when I get to the next bridge. I'm not pushing it through these hot sections. Not worth it. Alright, see you later guys. To put in perspective what I've just done, so I started about here, and you go, then you go up all this way, um, yeah, so starting again, you go this way, up, 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 round up here, and then you turn this way. And then you cross the bridge just up here. So that's where I've just been and I've come all the way down here. And I get down to the road here and then I come back up this part here. So this bit here is the steepest part and then it's just back down this way. There's actually a part around here somewhere that I can... Um, just cut down to get to the car, which is what I'll be doing. Hello, gang gang cockatoo. <sighs> oh, look at this bridge. All right, see you soon, guys. <sighs> just taking a moment to soak it in a bit. I want to go for a swim tomorrow. Doesn't that water just sound nice? And the car's going by. At least everyone waves. Show you the other side now. Quite beautiful. It's times like this I really don't care how long I'm taking. If I can stop and appreciate something it's a good run, it's a good walk, it's a good hike, anything's good. But the fun part is coming now. <sighs> I'm not going to like the sun bearing down on me on this hill. I haven't liked it on the downhills. There it is, guys. It's probably not really showing the severity of it, but it's there. I'm just going to take my time. Bye. I'm coming to a conclusion. I'm not the best at doing so many back-to-back -back runs in one day. Not with that proper refueling in between um, after I think I've got five or six more park runs roughly 
until I have completed 100 park runs. After I've hit 100, I'm not going to be doing any more. Um, it'll be my last one around May, June. So give me at least a month and a bit at the most to concentrate more on my training. I can't be doing a fast 5k and then even though I had a fast 5k I still went out for two and a half k's to walk with a few people and catch up with them a little bit. So effectively I've done what am I up to? So I'm up to 18 k's now. Um, 23, 25 and a half k's. It's alright, that distance is alright in one run, but if anyone remembers uh, uh, what is it? It was... The longest run. So, that was the seven park runs in a day. Or something like that. And you realise how hard it is to stop and start so many times. Mm. I'll probably do that again this year. I don't see why not. Providing it's not before <laughs> uh, my run. Um, yeah. I just want to do the right speeds and everything and times for my training runs it brings me to another thought that I've been having I don't think anyone is really understanding the amount of sacrifices I feel I'm making I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking where my feet are going I've tripped so many times today and it's like For those that don't know, even though it's really only two people that are watching these videos, <laughs> but just in case someone, I get popular and they start watching videos or other people, it's my birthday on Monday and I knew well in advance that my games night crew, so the Lanigans and Des and everyone, we're trying to organise something because it's like we don't hear anything for ages and then all of a sudden bang a couple of months beforehand oh let's all do something on the 7th of April we need to all catch up let's do this and then I'm like well I'll have to see how work's going it's been hard I can't do everything, and I was saying that to people, I can't do everything. I'm working my ass off at work. And uh, both works. And then I'm going out and doing stuff like this. Normally I could just do stuff like this and not work. But, yeah. It's probably why it's so hard. I just don't really recover. Well, I do recover, but it's a lot harder to. Um, getting back to it. Uh, yesterday morning, I put up a post and I said, 
I just had a brilliant idea. After parkrun birthday, 12th and 3rd, uh, I'm going to go to Walhalla, mix up my runs and all that. And then everyone's like, what about the lunch? I'm like, I never said I was going to the lunch. And I don't know, shit like that bothers me because everyone's just expecting me to do stuff and I just physically and mentally can't do everything. It's like Duncan's run. Everyone's like, oh, Matt's training. He's training for massive events. He can easily come out and freaking tail sweep for 30 Ks. And I'm like, no, there's so much more than just that. It's, it's a lot more. I know I push myself pretty hard, but I just want to be selfish for a little bit. I don't want to just go out and do everything that everyone expects me to do. It's like, oh, come do this run. No. We're going to go to dinner. No. Let's all hang out. No, sorry. Let's do something now. No, I'm working. Let's do this. No, I've got training. How about then? No, I'm still training. Every day's a training day. I have to do what I can to do this massive thing that I'm trying to do. I can't just... put everything on hold and when peop people get really upset or pissed off when I don't do what they expect them what they expect me to do and it's like I'm not gonna say one person in particular um, but it's like I'll say Okay, I'll see how I'm going by this date. And then when I say I'm not going or whatever, they're like, oh, you, I thought you, were, you said you were coming. I'm like, no, I said I'll see how I'm going. And why can't people understand that? I can't, I know I'm ranting a lot, but. Today I really wanted to talk to someone at the park run, but they, I don't know, just ended up doing the stupid run way too fast. And I went to see them after the run, they weren't really there. And then as I go to talk to them, they jumped in the car and headed off. And I was kind of following them to say something I didn't bother yelling out and then it's like ah oh, well they've gone now stuff it I'll just get in my car and go as well so I know I know my friends been well trying to do something for my birthday but to me right now when people are trying that hard I feel more pushed away than anything and right now the main thing I've wanted to do since yesterday is to just chuck, get rid of Facebook, get rid of Messenger, I'll keep doing the YouTube videos for my run, for my runs or training and maybe I just don't hear for people for two or so months. That's just what I feel like doing. Maybe I should. At first it was going to be like, let's just shut my Facebook down until after my birthday or after Buffalo. And I'll just come back when I get back from Buffalo or something. I don't know. Um, this is going to be a massive video. I've been recording this bit for like 10 minutes 20 already. 
So, another bit of news. Talking to, I actually twisted my ankle here on the way out at the start. Anyway, you would think you can just quit your job, go to somewhere else and everything will be better. But it's like, it's almost like my dating life. <laughs> it's like, I always seem to find the people that need help. They need some sort of fixing or something. And as soon as I've helped them with what they need, it's like it's over. And at work, like everyone, a lot of people know the reasons why I left my previous job. And now I've come to this new job and I've been hanging out with one person because we've both worked well together and he's said a couple of times that I actually keep him going because he just lacks the effort to keep pushing forward and all that. And then yesterday it was like really quiet so we did a major clean up like more than what we were needing to do really and he just opened up that much and said because he's not particularly happy about a lot of things at this job and you get that you work at somewhere long enough if it's not your dream job you're not gonna love it you'll tolerate it for as long as you can and you can see that for me <laughs> at my previous jobs and hell you just get sick of it and they say that they've often been depressed and sometimes that much of in a dark place that they sometimes feel suicidal so now it's like I just went straight up honest with him and I said these are the reasons why I left my previous job and I didn't say it in a harsh way I'm like to be honest this is why it got so severe that this person actually nearly did it and you just don't need to be that you need to be in a happier place like Talking to Guy last night, he said it must have been bad for me to just quit. Quit, two weeks notice, at the door, bang, done, washed your hands, and that was it. And it really was, it was just like I didn't like being there, and it just wasn't worth it. The discomfort of not having money and struggling and getting as close to as um, falling back on my loans and everything was not as bad as working there. It really wasn't. So I think on Monday I'm going to have a chat with them and I'm going to go look. Do you know about this? I've been with Marina a lot. He's opened up. He's said this. You guys are managers, you guys need to manage these situations and then I can wash my hands of it. Fair enough if he wants to keep talking to me, he can keep talking to me. Just a note, this battery is quickly going flat with a 14 minute video, so I may not have an ending shot of this run at all, so if it does See you next time, if not, <laughs> all good. Um, I'll just do a video overlay when I get home. Um, yeah. <sighs> but they really need to know. 
I've kind of sidetracked from a lot of different topics now. Um, maybe I should just finish this run. I don't know how many k's I've got left. 2.2 kilometers. That's not too bad. I could be done in about 13 minutes. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, I might just keep walking for a little bit. If I think of something, I'll turn this on. Bye guys. Some guy's got bagpipes playing up here. How cool is that? I need to see. Awesome way to spend your yeah. awesome way. <laughs> oh, I just stopped. <laughs> what a nice way to finish a run. Listen to someone play bagpipes in the hills of Walhalla. The run took a lot longer than I was expecting or probably more planning to do but you can't complain when the end of your run, the last few k's, you can hear bagpipes. Uh, so it's starting to get late. I'm pretty much getting straight in the car. I'll get some food on the way home and have a little rest and then off to work. Thanks for watching today's video guys. Bye. Sorry for the random rants. <laughs> <laughs>